so excited to introduce my next guest, the great Grace Msalami. How oh, are you? Oh, you were too kind. Do I I'm, greet you? Do I high you, five you? Do you like, like, yes. You can greet me, you can give me like a proper hi, great to meet it's you. It's a pleasure to be here this evening, Larry. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so excited that you're on my show finally. I know. How long has it been? It's been forever. I know. And I, know. I have known you for many, many years. I've exactly. followed your career, been a fan, been excited by all the things you've been doing. Can we go way back to where we met? We go way, way back. Way back. I was a fresh eyed day star. Uh huh. And you were head you were heading the chapel every morning. I used to be And I used to love like this guy has so much psych, so much energy. I'd sit at the back and look at him like wow. I used to say things guy? in church then at Daystar. I used to say like mm -hmm. things in church. I used to say things in church. Okay, okay. There were I good think things. that's the easy that's the that's the easier way of, of, of uh of saying it. But that's how I was active in the in, in the church. Yes, you were at campus. Yes, yes, you were. And look at you now. What it's do you mean so strange being now? on this side. Can I be on that side and ask you No, you question? can't. This, this is, is so awkward, people. Is that why you've avoided doing interviews? <laughs> well, yeah. I think this, your side comes more naturally to me. Um, I know. I like being in control of what I let out there. Um, hence why, I guess, we blog and share what we can on our mm -hmm. pages. Because mm -hmm. um, then you're in control. Yeah, I'm a con I like being in control. I, I remember we used to work together at KTN many Indeed. moons ago. Imagine. You used to do a show that many people who are watching this show might not even remember. What is that? Straight up? Straight up? Can you imagine? I was 19 years old. How about show happened? They were so strange. So I just finished my A-levels. Yes. Um, and I just, I didn't want to be idle. Like I needed to do something. So mm -hmm. I did a few odd jobs here and there. I'm sure mm -hmm. we all did general, oh, general D, me. marketing and selling. Uh, I did oh, that. that's how you know you struggled in the city. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I did clothes. Outside. I did lots of things. Uh -huh. um, and I guess as fate would have it, um, DNG yes. gave me a call. He's like, yo, there's some additions at KTN mm -hmm. for a show coming up, yeah. a drama show though. Yes. You should go and audition. I'm uh -huh. like, hey, got nothing to lose. Let me go try um, and that show was Better Days. Mm -hmm. Of course, I didn't get the part. Um, You're not much I, of an actress. Not, clearly, I didn't get the part. <laughs> but when I was there, I was like, hmm, maybe, you know, I can ask around, are there internships yeah, yeah, happening? What yeah. can I do? And I just kept pushing. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what it is with life. You just keep pushing. I kept knocking on the door. And um, God was good. He opened the way in, and I was an intern for Misiko Andere, who was doing arts in there. Misiko works here now. She's one of our bosses. She's still here. Misiko's still here. Hey, Misiko. Like, mm -hmm. can I, is she? Around She's not here right now. Okay. The bosses okay. go home early. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's that. us the minions who remain here to do I all the work. That life. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be a boss more recently. You would know that. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then you left there. You started baby doing. Um, you left straight up. You went to do art scene. Yes. So from straight up, imagine from interning um, mm -hmm. for, for Misiko doing art scene. Mm -hmm. Then while I was there, there was an opportunity for a youth show to come up. And yes. like, there's this young girl who's busy, busy, and she looks excited. Yes. Maybe she can try. Yes. And so I auditioned, and God was great. And we were trained for a couple of, of mm -hmm. weeks or a month. Yeah. Uh, Catherine Casavulli, Michael mm -hmm. Oyer, yeah. who are the best in the business. Michael Oyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know. mm -hmm. and that happened for a couple of years, about five, I think. And yeah. then um, I went to university. Because mm -hmm. the reason I took that gap was, I mean, I didn't want to put the pressure on my dad to, I mean, my two kids had a yeah. uni at the same time. Because yeah. um, our age difference, for some reason, yeah. Um, because he just started the business. He mm -hmm. had a radio station yes. called Shaky FM. Mm -hmm. So we just, I just needed to give him space to be ready. So mm -hmm. I worked. Then I felt it's time. I want to go and have a normal um, teenage experience, go to uni and experience it. And so right. the day started happening. Mm -hmm. And while I was there, I got the call for art scene. And I've been working since. I was 19. Wow. That, what, what, an, what an outstanding career. I mean, just being in all, all those different experiences. Did you get, want to get into media because your dad owned this radio station? So you were kind of around it already? Well, I grew up um, mm -hmm. watching him. I mean, yes. he was kind of hard to ignore. He was a powerhouse of his own from radio, mm -hmm. um, acting as well. He used to be an actor to Shariani. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, uh, what else did he do? He was in advertising with Vivian Mehta for so many years. So I had all that energy around mm -hmm. me. I was, of course, a rub off on me. And I love music. So it yeah. came from a love of, I love music, love what he was doing. And I was that child, my mom always reminds me, yeah. who would sit and watch TV. All the time. I'd watch everything from, really? from uh, cowboy movies to the news, and I'd give you. Those are the days when TV used to fungus at there four at six. Go, there you go. And then at midnight they play the national anthem. There that's you, it. Yes, done. Yeah, yeah. So TV. Well, I'm not that old. No, I'm just saying. I, I'm not saying no. you're that old. I'm just saying that back then TV used to fungus at a that certain time. True. That is true. Unlike now. And they'd have the color bars for a bit, yeah. and you'd just be yeah. anticipating for when they open the station. Exactly. They would open the station. And no remote. You have to go actually go there physically and change yes. change the channel. You mentioned your dad Very used to act in to Shauriani. I'm yes. sure that people watching this show are like, what? Well, yeah. Shauriani was... You have to be an old soul to wow. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, but it was amazing. I think just the other day someone was talking about it and shared an old clip because he was in advertising. Mm -hmm. So he did very many voiceovers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just hearing his voice again and just like, wow, 
like you still get the chills mm -hmm. like he was quite something so mm -hmm. I guess being around that growing um, growing in that environment it was inspiring in many ways all right you in the middle of that got these two beautiful girls that we are all fans of why don't they have really? an Instagram page of their oh, own it's what people you. do Bless these days um wow it's strange that I'm seeing this um, I'm mm -hmm. very guarded though I know mm -hmm. I've opened them up in a bit look at them man they're so beautiful oh you Oh. Of course we have them. They're watching, imagine. They're, they're like, watching. They're not sleeping tonight, so they're watching. Hi, babies. <laughs> See yourselves. Oh, Lord. What are their names? How old are they? Zawadi and Raha. They mm -hmm. are six years. They turned six in April. Wow. Um, and they're fraternal twin. Mm, I was 24. Mm -hmm. And it was just after my dad passed. Mm -hmm. um, it was just one thing after another. Bad breakup, dad mm -hmm. passed, mm -hmm. got pregnant. Yeah. And I'm like, woo! Like, Let me slow down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, lot a lot is <laughs> happening. <laughs> That's a lot to take in yeah. all at once. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, that I think that whole season of just carrying the pregnancy was, I think that's when I found God again. I mean, I've always been a believer mm -hmm. from when I was a little. I, t I think I've shared about it on my pages. Mm -hmm. I got born again at seven, seven years old, went yeah. to 700 Club. And over the years, you know, you lose yourself, but you still find your way. Mm -hmm. So my children, if I could say this, sort of saved me and brought me back to him. Mm -hmm. So during my pregnancy is when I really went back to, um, to my first love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And since then, they've just been edifying um, you know what I know about him and just what being a parent is what is that season like you're a good Christian girl you're um, in the no. church you are no. saved and they're like oh she's getting pregnant I know oh she's being up to some bad behavior I did you know. get that from the community funny enough not really that's mm -hmm. a strange part I think mm -hmm. for me where things changed was I mean I started working in the media industry very young mm -hmm. I was 19 mm -hmm. so I was exposed to a lot um, yeah. though I thank God I had a good foundation mm -hmm. but I guess at some point it gets to you um, so I guess, yeah, at some point I lost my way. I didn't stick to what I was, you know, brought up knowing or mm -hmm. believing in. Mm -hmm. um, did I get flack for it? I'm, I'm very good at blocking. I'm mm -hmm. very good at building barriers. I yeah. guess as, as you would know, like if this is, I don't feed what I don't want to grow. Because yeah. what we feed grows. Mm -hmm. I'm so any negativity, I hardly felt it. Um, I think that's come later in life. Mm -hmm. God really hid me for many years. Um, I didn't get to experience that. And the joy, like I told you, because it took me back to God. Mm -hmm. The joy of, as much as it was out of wedlock, but the Bible is very clear that children are a reward from God. Um, so for me, I was, I felt blessed. Mm -hmm. And in double portion, yes. like with all this drama, I'm a single mom mm -hmm. and you gave me two, wow. you must have a plan. Yes. So for yeah. me, that gave me a peace for okay. it as well. Um, yeah, I think challenges with, I guess, social media wasn't yeah. there. Social Maybe. media was not there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah well, it, even if it was, changed. it wasn't really big, like exactly. it hadn't blown up in Kenya like it exactly. has now. Now it's crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. And that's, I was listening to a sermon just the other day, Elevation mm. Church. And mm -hmm. do you know, do you have um, the Bible app on your phone? Of course I do. You sure, version. You version? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So the pastor was preaching there. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the selfie generation, mm -hmm. um, and which is so true. In the day we are in now, let's say on Facebook, someone posts, I just lost my job. Yeah. Ah, oh, what will he get? He'll get the sad crying, yeah. like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry, Pole. Pole. But that's it. It's yeah. a clean break, Pole. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Do you call people anymore? Do you check? Can you imagine if he told yeah. you that in person? I told you now, Larry, I've lost my job. How do I take care of my children? How yeah. do I? Yeah. So we've lost that compassion. We've lost that follow up. We've lost that. And compassion um, interrupts your life. Mm -hmm. Like if someone breaks down and cry, you can't just run off mm -hmm. and say, mm -hmm. oh, Pole, um, all will be well. Like yeah. you need to reach deep within yourself mm -hmm. and. Um, I feel like that's where we need to get back to. Mm -hmm. So as much as social media is a powerful, powerful force that can be used for good, which is what I try to do, yeah. um, it can be damaging. We saw the girl who killed herself the other day. It's it heartbreaking, truly. Totally. And people don't realize how the cyberbullying affects, affects um, actual real people, Imagine. individuals. Imagine. And I say that all the time. You might think it's all fun and games and some people can take it, but not everyone can. Exactly. Yeah. Especially, I mean, this, uh, um, I pray for my children all the time. They're growing in this generation. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was talking about how he interviewed ladies between 16 to 25. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard for them to have this. Mm -hmm. They can't have one-on-ones because mm -hmm. they're so used to picture, filter, yeah. you've structured what you're writing. So by the time they're meeting someone, they've typed out everything. Yeah. Like, okay, this is great. Now I'll just see this. Like, yeah. it's awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we, we, need to, we need to find a balance mm -hmm. or we are going to be in trouble. Yeah. You know what people really admire and what I personally admire is that you seem to have such a great relationship with the, with the kid's um, dad, the that, which is something that people like. I find that so weird. Why? People think weird? it's so odd because I think a lot of breakups are usually just so messy Ugly. and people don't talk. 
um, people are deadbeats. So that's much more of a common story in Kenya. I think, for, well, maybe that helps. He's never been a deadbeat. Mm -hmm. um, he was there from day one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think the lesson therein is even if the two of you don't work, yeah. and that can happen, you mm -hmm. know, everyone, God has a purpose and a person for every person. Mm -hmm. um, but if there are children involved, yeah. you need to really grow up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and mature and put aside whatever if you're hurt or whatever yeah. and just think about the children because at the end of the day your kids need both their father and their mother you know and mm -hmm. they need to be in a happy environment so even if they're not in the same home mm -hmm. they know mom has got me daddy's yeah. got me yeah. you know and they and they love me um and if there's another person that comes into that mix um if daddy gets married or mommy gets married yeah. um you also must be able to take me as i am i come with two children yeah. he comes with two children um, so the fact that she was, she's amazing with them. She loves them and cares for them genuinely. Mm -hmm. For me, that should make me happy. I shouldn't be upset. And or that's worried. the thing because that's when he got married and you congratulated him, and people were like, oh, that I happened. Think, I think what's surprising to people is, you know, you don't see what happens behind closed doors. Yeah. Um, this has been a process of, you know, coming to where we are. Yes. Um, so me and them are, are, were pretty cool. So mm -hmm. it was natural for me um, to do that, and it was very. Um, critical yeah. for me to change the narrative. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, mm -hmm. there's the deadbeat, the yes. bitterness, yeah. there's hate, yeah. and we can't keep cycling that same story. It has mm -hmm. to change. Mm -hmm. um, and I just felt I, I need to take that stand if no one else will. And that's the only reason. I think what I must make clear is my new season is all mm -hmm. about purpose. Okay. And purpose shakes you, purpose will interrupt, purpose is not safe, um, purpose will take you out of your comfort zone. And the reason for that is End of the day, am I giving God glory? Am I doing what he put me here on earth to do? So whatever I share, it's not for, oh, Grace is showing off, or, oh, yeah, Grace is, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. It's, I know there's someone out there who needs to hear this message. Like if, I, if you see my DMs, oh mm -hmm. God, bless everyone who reaches out to me. Um, overwhelming, like we pray, we have devotionals, I cry, I carry their burdens, like it's a lot, people are hurting. And we need to step out if you have that need in you or that call in you, um, I say yes, yeah, and do it. You know, it's interesting you say that, and you've obviously shown that you're a woman of faith, and if people wonder, is it possible to be somebody of faith in the media, which I like to think of as a secular superhighway? Mm. Can you keep your faith in the you midst that, of this madness? Can I ask I'm you asking question? you a question, dear. <laughs> Darn it. I tried. <laughs> um, of course it is. I think... Um, it also depends on your level of maturity. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I wasn't always like this. This has mm -hmm. been years of growth to get to where I am now. Yeah. Where I am now, nothing can shake me. I think I've seen it all, mm -hmm. experienced almost everything. So yeah. I, I understand and I know how easy it is to fall. It's very, we're only where we are by His, his mm -hmm. grace. It's mm -hmm. never by our efforts. No, mm -hmm. Let no one lie to you that yeah. it's by our own strength, but His. So I think when you rely on Him, where you're weak, He's made strong. So that's what has been my um, saving grace. Saving grace. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, why did you leave Radio Africa? Um, purpose. Yeah, it was just time. I was there for almost seven years. Mm -hmm. um, and you just hit a plateau. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what else? You know, yeah. what more can I do from presenting, producing, directing, and like you mentioned, management. Um, mm -hmm. I just didn't feel as grateful as I am. I mm -hmm. learned so much there. And I have family there. Caroline Mutoko has been a support um, from day one. Shafi mm -hmm. Weru is my brother. Yeah. Um, but I, I got to a point where... God just had to move me. Mm -hmm. Like what he has in store for me now is is different and so, I couldn't do it there. So which means the natural question is what are you doing? What now? am I up to? Yes. Um I'm in oh wow, where do I start? I'm yeah, seeking out and living out my purpose. Mm -hmm. Um and that includes also taking some time out, sit back, analyze the mm -hmm. past seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, what have I been doing? What did I do wrong? Where's my next um, you know, um space to go into and what God made very clear to me been about a two-year journey mm -hmm. um, ministry it's a thing I've ran from for a while um, but I, the nudge started coming two years ago and this year I just couldn't shake it yeah um, I started a year ago on my blog um, I don't know if you know my blog Serena.com mm -hmm. it's a Christian blog mm -hmm. and I talk about like the things I read now and I'm like I wrote that that's mm -hmm. when you know mm -hmm. the spirit just takes over sometimes um, so now I'm, I'm intentionally doing it more if it's speaking if it's writing and God is still yet to reveal to me what does that mean mm -hmm. um, in what capacity am I ministering so I'm just start I think the big jumps you just start and God opens you know the you will add light into my path yeah. lamp into my feet yeah. you don't see 10 years but you see okay here yeah, this space this is what you're meant to be mm -hmm. doing and mm -hmm. on and on and on as I do that I also have a couple of projects that 
excite me. I also want to do things that make me happy, not because it's it's on my JD, I must do this, but mm -hmm. something that I'm excited about. Right. So I have a couple of projects working with clients. Um, I have Mega Growth talking about hair. You see, mm -hmm. I've chopped out my hair. I like um, your so, hair. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I love it too. <laughs> 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 got rid of, I got tired of all the hair. Mm -hmm. um, so Mega Growth, I'm working with them, and um, I like the messages. The tagline is um, beautiful inside, mm -hmm. strong on the outside. Um, and, the, and there is to just talk about you can have healthy, relaxed hair. And the aim is to, um, you know, um, support and encourage strong women. Another client that's close to my heart, Practical Action, mm -hmm. through WeWorks, uh, she works for WeWorks, um, talk about renewable energy and the help women in the lower end to have access to if it's briquettes or solar energy and give them opportunities to get mm -hmm. into business and support their families, women, okay. single women who have taken their kids all the way to university, and mm -hmm. that's amazing. Another one that you must help me with mm -hmm. is children. It's called the Child Helpline. You know mm -hmm. we have one in Kenya? I think I do, yes. Yeah, 116? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in case of anything, you see a child who is being, you know, um, could be sexually abused or verbally or physically, whatever it is, I mean, just call them and they have counselors who will walk you through the process. And if it needs for them to take the child out of that environment, they do that. But they need support in terms of funding. Mm -hmm. So this week, if you follow my, my, my pages, I'll be talking about that so you can know how to help. Okay. Yeah, so you're, I'm doing a lot. But you're I'm also, busy. But I'm obviously. also resting. <laughs> In between all that, I'm trying to rest and just hear from God. Yeah. Might this new season also include marriage? A lot of people must give you a lot of... Uh, oh, wow. That is... No, no, I didn't, like, I didn't even see that. Wait, wait I, I hadn't finished I my question, from? Grace. Oh, okay, go on. <laughs> you're a, Threw me off there. You're a very beautiful woman. There must be lots of people who are saying, oh, Grace, let's go out with you. Grace, marry me, all it's of so that. It's so funny you say that. I've, like I told you, mm -hmm. I'm very... I, can, I easily block out. So for very many years, I've yeah. been hidden. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this week, I don't know why, I guess after I posted my... I was just like, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. People they, they were waiting for, they didn't know, like, I'm not, I'm not married. Yeah. So all of a sudden, there's Yeah, because some blogs are saying, oh, suitors, Grace, um, Grace was um, ma once married. Yeah, apparently, mm -hmm. um, yeah. That, Has yeah. that been interesting for you, reading about stuff, I about know, your life? There's so like, many oh, things I read. And so, like, oh, did that happen about I know, me? I and didn't they're know. so convicted. Mm -hmm. like they write with, yeah, with, fa I'm like, mm. wow. <laughs> Where did you get this from? <laughs> oh, so now because you said you were never married, now the, now the men are, are, are in your DMs. Ah, oh, Lord Jesus, just take take over, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> in his time, I believe in everything. I'm, I'm not looking he for that. He makes everything perfect exactly. in his time. I'm just doing, living out my purpose. If it happens, um, if, it's, if it's a God thing, it's great. I realize okay. in life, mm -hmm. it can be a good thing, it can be great, great okay. job, great nini. Mm -hmm. But if it's not God, I'd rather walk away. Hold that part. I want to look through the Twitters right now real quick. Anna Kumu is looking through all of the things they're saying on the Twitters. Anna, what are they saying? You're yeah. right, Larry. People are really asking if she could marry them. <laughs> <laughs> this is all Larry. Right. So That's not my fault. No, hang on. Go to that first tweet. Go to that first tweet. This is all what does that say? See, men how, see how men have concentrated on Grace's talk? Like my daughter, English, English is, is just, just flying. flying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. And there's someone who's going to get in trouble here because of you, Grace. Oh, oh no. no. Uh -huh. Where is that? he? Here. Mm -hmm. Are you oh, sure you want to show me? <laughs> yes, let's do it. Okay, sure? yeah. go through the Salana has always pattern. been my crush since I like, can remember. Muleze Kama and I prayer partner. We oh, have a prayer partner. Oh, that's not a good joke, guys. By the way, stop that game. <laughs> I have, I, I, I have many have prayer real, partners. You have real prayer real partners. One, not like my mother and <laughs> my sister. I'm good. Sell that to a certain gospel artist. <laughs> but I will pray for you, and we can pray for each other. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and but can you the guy who was telling you he was going to land in trouble, yes. Anna O'Brien. Mm -hmm. I know I tell my lady the only woman she should be afraid of is Grace oh, Salami. Lord. Cute heavens. <laughs> 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 I think Lord. we should send prayers to this guy. Yes. What were you saying before? Please can you say imagine? You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine when I thought about coming on this show? You know mm -hmm. what part scared me the most? No. This. The Twitter. Yeah, I was like, am I ready? Like, God prepare me. Like, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> you're doing great so far. We're almost done, Anne. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sima kosayake. <laughs> Sima kosayake. Anyway, mm -hmm. don't you hear? I th I don't know how true this is. Am I must see I saw twins. a lot of tweets saying that. Maybe exactly. Exactly. Too many like? people asking this. Yeah. No way. I'm a great fan. I think you've seen me talk about it and I'm share a big and support. Fan of Masi I Masika love too. her anointing. Is like you. You can't ignore it. You can't shake Absolutely. it. Absolutely. She's deserving of all the awards she got at uh, Groove more. Awards. And I said this last year, and then she went on to. Oh, wow. I think the spirit was just moving. Hallelujah. <laughs> God bless and you, Mercy. that's it?
Uh -huh, another one here. Oh, there's I'll more. Men on Twitter are watching Grace Musalame. <laughs> Guys, stop it. Stop it already. <laughs> Can we talk about something else? <laughs> there's no tweet about other there's parts a, of is my life. There's no tweet about other things. Okay. Yeah, other things. My kids. Say hi to Mama Twins. Work. I love her. May God bless her journey and her ministry. Oh, bless you. And then That's we really have nice. here another one. Is there yeah, Mr. Salame the ladies, Mahali? Thanks. <laughs> oh, she, she wants to hear from the ladies. Um, Mr. Msalami is my dad. That's, my, that's still my father's name. Mm -hmm. I think Thank maybe you. men... But why would, even if it was your husband, why would it be Mr. Msalami? That makes no sense. Okay. What's she trying to say? I wonder. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say? Okay, and... Um, uh, I think that's all we have, Larry. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anne. Grace, um, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm well, glad you finally did this. I'm really we glad you did it. We have now come full circle. We have now come full circle yeah. um, from, um, what is it? Colleagues in school, colleagues at work, and now Imagine. you come on my show. I so think. one day, when I, if I do get back on air, you will come on my show? I really hate interviews, but for hey. you, I'll do it. Yay! Yeah. For you, I'll do it. I don't do interviews. I have you nothing heard. to say. You all heard. I have nothing you to have say. You have so much to say. Trust Isn't this me. man amazing? What, what don't you do? Please keep saying what it. What don't, don't you do? Now. <laughs> TV, radio, newspaper, you're amazing. God because I don't you. want to be poor. Oh, well, that... Well, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and, and all these things shall be added, shall be added, added on. Can serve both God and money. Serve, serve God, I, and you'll get everything. I else. serve a God of excellence who wants Amen. me to do everything with a certain degree of excellence. Amen. Thank you for coming. Okay. I'm going to preach at this rate. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>